Oh, Stephen, nice to see you finally got a real job. Comeback's not going well, so I thought I'd open my own airline. I'm going to fly you to Sheffield for your first round. I've got a simulator. Let's see who's the best pilot. That's a bit freaky, this is. V1. Well, let's take it off. Matthew would be spilling his Dom Perignon. <laughs> <laughs> I think the form you showed in the Gibraltar Open, we won't mention who you beat in the first round, but you were very impressive. Um, but you went on to obviously losing the semi-final to Judd when you were 2-0 well, ahead, I think. You're pretty unlucky to lose that match. But since you know, obviously that's the best snooker you've played since the Indian Open. Yeah, uh, I think it was better than the Indian Open. You know, the game that we played, um, I saw it as a good opportunity for me to see where my game was at. You know, it was a really, really big occasion for me in my career, and, and I was pleased with how I handled it. You know the occasion and the game. The matches that I played after, they were they were some really good snooker in there. Probably the best I've ever played. Right, that was smooth. Try not to crash. Your turn. Does it make me ear stick out anymore? It's six years since you've been to the Crucible. Is there anything you're still a bit scared of in front of the TV? I don't feel scared. Mm. You know, previous occasions I've, I've dreaded uh, I've dreaded walking out uh, and playing on them big occasions. You know, I'm trying to get my personality out on the table and take a few more risks. My scoring was always my weak point. Now it's probably the strongest mm. it's ever been. See this line here, Stephen? Parallel. When you come through the qualifiers, obviously your match sharp, and the way you came through those qualifiers, 5-2 down to Nigel Bond, the way you came back, scoring winning frames in one visit to win 6-5, and then 10-3 against Scott Donaldson. I mean, that's got to give you confidence against Barry Hawkins. For once, I genuinely went in there believing I was going to get through. And you know, although the first game was tricky, this second game was was um, wasn't an easy ride. But I managed to get the job done quite comfortably. Mm. And you know, looking back, I made six centuries in the qualifying. Mm. I went there to do a job, and, mm. and that's job done. So I'm looking forward to, to starting another job against Barry. Yeah. What's what's your record against Barry? I beat him this year in Gibraltar. I know I've beaten him a few times on television. Obviously, mm. he got me in the biggest game. Uh, the Crucible. So it's a match where, you know, for me, it's a toss of a coin. I believe I'm a better player. If I settle and I play well, it'd be good. You know, Barry's always going to play to a certain level. That's why he's a top 16 player. Uh, but I'm just looking forward to playing. So do I need to start dissenting? Well, can you not hear the screaming in the back? This is the first time you've flown all season. <laughs> I think you're going to miss the runway. I don't think you've got it in you. Like me missing a fairway. We've got the fire engines ready. Sink rate. Don't sink. Don't sink. One question, and you're probably the only one that's got the flair. Win the World Championship private jet? Yeah, I mean, I'd have to speak to Judd and we'll, we'll, we'll chart someone and go somewhere. Probably <laughs> Vegas, have a world with Jess. But yeah, no, I'd definitely get my own plane at some point. Maybe Good a helicopter. <laughs> Good luck, mate. Play well. 14, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. 10. Safely down, Stephen. To prevent a bit of turbulence. Mm -hmm. 